My name is Jean Chabot. I work in clinical research at Notre Dame Hospital. I'm going to explain how to do the reconstitution for the Firmagon injection of 240 milligrams divided in two injections of 120 milligrams. I'm going to show um, how to prepare it. I have a vial cut that contains solvent and I have another vial that contains powder. We're going to take the adapter and put it on the vial that contains the solvent. And I'm going to do the same thing with the second adapter and put it to the vial that contains the powder. Using a syringe, I'm going to draw three millimeters of the vial that contains the solvent. Three millimeter is the exact dose that's needed for the reconstitution. I'm going to use the second vial that contains the powder and attach it to the syringe. And I will dissolve the powder using the solvent. I need to swirl it very gently to avoid the formation of foam, but small bubbles, it's acceptable. Once the liquid is clear and the solution doesn't seem to have any powder, I will draw again 3 ml into my syringe. This is the exact dose that's needed for the injection. I can detach the syringe from the solution. Then you take a needle and you put it to the syringe. Now I'm ready to do the first injection of 3 ml. You need to do it in the umbilical region. You need to avoid places where you have friction, like where the belt is and the ribs. So you need to do it around the umbilical region. You need to grasp the skin, and then you can insert your needle at at least 45 degrees. You insert the needle gently and deeply. And now you're ready to start the injection. You need to keep the needle in place for at least 30 seconds to avoid to have any side reaction. And now we can remove the needle slowly. You have to do the second injection, but not at the same place. You need to do it in the same umbilical region. My name is Jean Chabot. I work in clinical research at Notre Dame Hospital. I will explain the Firmagon maintenance dose of 80 milligrams given one month after the starter dose and once monthly. First thing we need to do is we have two vials. One contains powder and the second contains solvent. I will put the adapter on the powder vial and then I'll put the second adapter to the solvent vial. Then we need to draw 4.2 ml of solvent from the vial. point two exact and then you need to transfer it to the powder vial 4.2 ml and then you slowly swirl it very gently to avoid to have any foam formation once the liquid is clear you need to transfer 4 ml to the syringe then you can detach the syringe from the solution then you take a needle and you put it to the syringe. And now we're ready for injection. You need to do it in the umbilical region of the abdomen. You need to grasp the skin of the abdomen and you insert your needle at at least 45 degrees. And then you can slowly start injecting the solution. You keep the needle in place for at least 30 seconds to avoid to have any side reaction. Then you can pull the needle slowly. You need to remember to avoid to do the injection in the belt region and also the ribs. It has to be in the umbilical region. 